Well, race three on the program, the first of the features, the Jim Crack Stakes listed race for the Phillies. 1,100 metres, five minutes past two. It's always the traditional lead up to the Karakata Plate for the girls. And I tell you what, it's always been a good form race for the Karakata Plates. Had some great winners in the past. Yeah, most definitely, Marty. Last year we saw For Your Eyes only take out the event. Dana Riff in 2008. Um, Fred Kersley trained the winner of 2007. Also, Jester Tune and Paris Batard in 2006. Sportivo 05, Reef M04, Diamond Dash 03, Amphitrite 02, Magic Heaven 01, 2000, Ebony Magic. And uh, it's been a very good race, Marty, for the Phillies. And once again, no exception. It's a very quality lineup. Horses like Time to Climb, Motion Pitches, and Miscondition. Absolute pleasure. So, we're really looking forward to the Gym Crack on Saturday. Well, uh, again, the Phillies are pretty strong this year. Yeah, very there's, strong. Uh, there's I think they've got the wood on the, mm. on the boys. Well, there's definite depth, depth there. So let's roll some tape and have a look at Time to Climb. We'll go back to the barrier trials now and have a look at her effort on the 22nd of March. Um, Drew wide at the trials, comes across, leads, and then Harvey just shakes her up. I think she's better on race Racing day than on trial the outside day. And dashing to the lead inside the 150 with Killat getting out and running on. Time to climb under the whip. Here comes Killat on the outside. It's finishing fast. Time to climb, finding a little bit though from Killat and time to climb. A long neck to Killat, a good trial. Solid trial performance there by time to climb. As you said, Harvey, give her a little waking up, but um, I don't think she was really extended all that much in the run to the line. On Saturday, Marty, she's drawn perfectly in barrier four. She's just going to get the world perfect run, whether she rolls forward and leads. If something wants to take her on, she can sit just behind them. She's three out of three, yet to put a foot wrong, um, and I really can't see that changing on Saturday. All right, here's Miss Condition. She beat the males and the females in the Supremacy Stakes, and she beat another filly called Motion Pitches. They'll both go at it at the gym crack. Uh, Miss Condition is tracking motion pitches to the point of the bend and now sprints it down the straight. The front though, it's Celebration Girl, a length and a half. Miss Condition, motion pictures can't go with her. Miss Condition on the outside reaches the lead from motion pictures. Celebration Girl and another great first up win by Miss Condition. Super win there by Miss Condition. Track motion pitches, peeled off her back, sprinted, was simply far too good in the run to the line. The effort of the second horse wasn't all that bad. On Saturday, miscondition in barrier two. Motion pitches out there in 11 is going to need plenty of luck. Um, I really think miscondition, Marty, that was a super win. She's had uh, two fresh goes in the past for two wins. And last campaign, a second up effort. She drew off the track and I still thought it was quite a brave effort. Um, both horses undeniable claims of the two. I'd like to be on miscondition. Okay, and the one we won't have a look at, but I think she rounds out the classy uh, fillies here as absolute pleasure. Haven't seen her since the Magic Millions when she drew wide, got back and run on. Yeah, she had a recent trial um, on the 22nd yep. of March. Cristiano ran into her nose and yep. um, there was a lot of money put on Cristiano when he failed last Saturday. So um, I think the trial was good, but she's drawn barrier 12. I think they have no option but to go back and let her finish off and hopefully she can draw a gate in the Karakata because she'll be one of the main players. Well... <sighs> Speed map will suggest time to climb a lead for mine. Uh, the new horses out of the, the barrier trials, there's nothing there with great pace. Bella Contessa ended up leading, I think, working to the front. Win Winston Wafe will probably want to show some early speed with Sexy City, but um, Harvey will lead, dictate. Now, motion pitches from barrier 11 will get back. Absolute pleasure will get back. Miscondition will probably, from barrier 2, want to take a more forward position and possibly end up leaders back or three back the fence. Yeah, I think so. They'll want to utilise the inside barrier. And um, if she lobs there, she's obviously going to be one of the main dangers to time to climb, I'd imagine. Mm. Look, I've... Uh, I, I, Who are I, you going? I'm going time to climb. I think she'll win this race. She's classy. The 57 doesn't worry me because the girls have carried, you know, 56 down a rip. Just a tune, 58. Paris Batard, 58 and a half in the past. I think 57. She'll handle that. Meets miscondition at the same weights and can beat her. OK, well, I'm going to go number three, Miss Condition, Marty. Um, obviously, time to climb is a horse to beat. She'll be up on the speed. Whatever gets past, she'll be winning. And uh, I'm going to tip three, Miss Condition. I think she may be able to run over the top of time to climb. Race three, horse three for me.